Yashar Jasher 74. In the end of years died Shaul, king of Edom, and Baal Hanan, the son of Achbor, reigned in his place. In the sixteenth year of the reign of Moshe, over Cush, Baal Hanan, the son of Achbor, reigned in the land of Edom over all the children of Edom for thirty-eight years. In his days, Moab revealed against, rather, Moab rebelled against the power of Edom, having been under Edom since the days of Hadad, the son of Bedad, who smote them and Midian, and brought Moab under subjection to Edom. And when Baal Hanan, the son of Achbor, reigned over Edom, all the children of Moab withdrew their allegiance from Edom. And Angius, king of Africa, died in those days, and as Drubal, his son, reigned in his stead. And in those days died Janez, king of the children of Ketim. And they buried him in his temple, which he had built for himself in the plain of Canopia for a residence. And Latinus reigned in his stead. In the twenty-second year of the reign of Moshe, over the children of Cush, Latinus reigned over the children of Ketim forty-five years, and he also built for himself a great and mighty tower, and he built therein an elegant temple for his residence, to conduct his government, as was the custom. In the third year of his reign, he caused a proclamation to be made to all his skillful men, who made many ships for him. And Latinus assembled all his forces, and they came in ships, and went therein to fight with Asdrubal, son of Angius, king of Africa. And they came to Africa, and engaged in battle with Asdrubal and his army. And Latinus prevailed over Asdrubal, and Latinus took from Asdrubal the aqueduct which his father had brought from the children of Kittim, when he took Janiah, the daughter of Uzi, for a woman. Latinus overthrew the bridge of the aqueduct. Rather, so Latinus overthrew the bridge of the aqueduct and smote the whole army of Asdrubal a severe blow. And the remaining strong men of Asdrubal strengthen, strengthened themselves, and their hearts were filled with envy, and they courted death, and again engaged in battle with Latinus, king of Ketim. And the battle was severe upon all the men of Africa, and they all fell wounded before Latinus and his people. And Asdrubal, the king, also fell in that battle. And the king Asdrubal had a very beautiful daughter, whose name was Ushpazana. And all the men of Africa embroidered her likeness on their garments on account of her great beauty and comely appearance. And the men of Latinus saw Ushpazena, the daughter of Asdrubal, and praised her unto Latinus, their king. And Latinus ordered her to be brought to him. And Latinus took Ushpazena for a woman, and he turned back on his way to Ketim. And it was after the death of Asdrubal, son of Agonis, 
rather Angius, when Latinus had turned back to his land from the battle, that all the inhabitants of Africa rose up and took Annibal, the son of Angius, the younger brother of Asdrubal, and made him king instead at his brother over the whole land of Africa. And when he reigned, he resolved to go to Katim to fight with the children of Katim to avenge the cause of Asdrubal, his brother, and the cause of the inhabitants of Africa. And he did so. And he made many ships, and he came therein with his whole army, and he went to Katim. So Annibal fought with the children of Katim, and the children of Katim fell wounded before Annibal and his army. And Annibal avenged his brother's cause. And Annibal continued the war for eighteen years with the children of Katim. And Annibal dwelt in the land of Katim and encamped there for a long time. And Annibal smote the children of Katim very severely. And he slew their great men and princes, and of the rest of the people he smote about 80,000 men. And at the end of days and years, Annibal returned to his land of Africa, and he reigned securely in the place of Asdrubal, his brother.